we're live. Says, so, happy with that? Big time. Luke, are you happy with that? <laughs> Good morning and welcome to another video. And today is the day. Thank the Lord, Luca. Thank the Lord. Um, after literally over a year, I think like 15 months, genuinely of waiting. Today, our dream house project, Operation Build Our Dream House, is finally starting, it's finally underway. We're starting this series, episode one, with somewhat of a bombshell. Could you be any, could you be any noisy? Somewhat of a bombshell, I mean, you probably read the title. I imagine it's pretty obvious, but Luca, what is happening today? We're gonna knock the whole house down with a big digger. <laughs> I mean, we're literally demolishing I'm not exaggerating, we're pulling, I think we, I'm not, the, the builders are pulling the entire house down. <laughs> Says, why are we doing this? You're absolutely doing it. I wanted to keep the whole thing. Says is like, no, 100% let's knock it down. <laughs> I'm pretty scared about it, to be honest. Yeah. It's, it's seems like, extreme. It does, it, it sounds worse than it is, I guess. So, no, it's, it's quick, a quick bit of context, right? The plans, I mean, you've, if you can watch previous videos, the plans we have for the house, it's going to be an insane house. We were already very close. We, we were getting rid of, you know, the vast majority of the house. Just like a, a new roof, new floor. Yeah. Keeping like two walls. Yeah, like the, the house is a big house, but it's very convoluted. It's been extended like five times, so there's so many walls. So loads of it's got to be ripped out. And it's got to the and point. Mommy, don't forget the big metal frame, remember? <laughs> That's true, we need the big metal frame. It's got to the point where it's like there will, there'll be so little left, we might as well start from scratch. The deciding factor, I'll be honest, was the fact that. When you build a house from scratch, you don't pay VAT. And the VAT on this build, 20%, is gonna be an enormous amount of money. So, you know, it's just, it would be stupid not to, so. Quite, today, a, quite a lot of asbestos. Yeah, there was other factors. We found a lot of asbestos. There was bits that, yeah, would have been trying to get steel into the roof with the existing bits. <laughs> Thanks. Trying to get steel into the existing structure around like, bits would have just been a nightmare. So it's gonna be quicker. It's probably gonna work out cheaper. Um, we get a guarantee on the whole house. It's all new. You know, all new. We're not going to run into any unforeseen, you know, uh, problems. So yeah. All of that. It still seems really extreme. It does seem extreme. Yeah, it does seem extreme. But it's happening. It's happening. It kicks off today. The guys are turning up any minute now. So yeah, I'm going to head over there now. Drop the video a like if you are excited for this series, and I'll see you shortly. Okay, it is Thursday, the 30th of September, and it's about to kick off. That is my house. That is a massive digger and it's about to plow through it but Liam get over here mate what is the crack what's explain what's gonna be happening imminently to that side of my house uh, we're gonna demolish the house in a safe way so you're literally just gonna it's gonna literally go just pull bits off and slowly go through that yeah. side of the house the machines gonna start grabbing the front of the house I'm gonna take the right hand side of the house out this morning let me show you this thing this is an absolutely monstrous bit of machinery mate. so this is it this is what will be doing the damage I believe and it's literally a case of like, you know those things in the arcade where it just comes in and grabs a little teddy and drops it out, just that, but on a significantly larger scale. We've got cameras set up to capture it. Should be exciting, we're gonna start any minute now, so yeah, yeah. Let's see what happens. Like an hour in maybe? What in that? Like 20 minutes? Oh yes, it's looking good mate. You can literally see, you can now, if you can see it, you can now literally see through the house, like the digger. The, the guy's on a mad one. On the side, the control he has is ridiculous. Like some of those branches are in the way of my shot. He's just gone up with his digger and just plucked them out. Like it's unbelievable. The guy is an absolute- Edward Suzanne. Yeah, Edward Suzanne's an absolute artist. But yeah, this is pretty friggin' exciting. Update, they've gone through the front of the house. The digger is literally about to start pulling that down. I'm pretty sure any second now, you're gonna see him. God. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Just ripping a house down, mate. That is absolute madness. Day two of the demolition, and what a day for it. Not a cloud in the sky, the sun is shining. Oh wait, no it's not, because we're living in England, the weather sucks. Anyway, that 
is the biggest skip I've ever seen in my entire life and it's literally full of stuff from the house that gives you an idea of how much has come down so far. Let's have a quick look from the front. So the digger's actually gone through the whole way to the back. I'll take you through the house and have a look from the other side. Oh my God, it's raining so much. Come into the house here. This is mad because like, you can just see outside. I'm not allowed to go too far, but like, that's where my office is gonna be. This is the other side, that would be like the cinema games room. And if you come out to the back of the house, you can see quite a lot, mate. Like, I mean, half, like a third of the house is gone. The plan today is that shortly, the guys, or the guy, the big man Ian, is gonna pull that digger the whole way through to the back. He's gonna turn around and go back through there. So by the end of today, I think pretty much like half the house is gonna be gone. So it's gonna be exciting, it's gonna be mad. Let the day begin. This is literally insane. Let me just take you upstairs and inside the house, obviously. So yeah, fairly normal house. No biggie, you just pan around here. Oh wait, half of it's missing. What is going on? This is obviously gonna be our bedroom. This is gonna be nuts, by the way. When it's all done, it's gonna go up to there. Like, like literally, probably top three parts of the house I'm most excited for. That's literally just outside. Like, <laughs> what the hell, mate? This is insane. Let's go outside and see how it looks. Done it so quickly, it's insane how quickly they can plow through a house. Think about how long it took to build and it's just been ripped down in a couple of days. The monster that did all the damage, pretty much half of the house is now gone. Like that's, that is madness. So yeah, half the house gone, half to go, day three demolition. Let's begin. Halfway in, currently stood like where the front room would have been. Like it's all, it's all gone. So you can see into the house, the guys are actually in there. Like obviously the diggers done like the vast majority of the work, but the guys are up there now just pulling bits of wood out. I think it's a bit of a ball aching that you've got to separate stuff. You can't just chuck it all in the skip. You've got to like, you have the wood out and whatever other bits. I mean, that is a pretty substantial pile of wood right there, bonfire incoming. Jokes, not gonna do that. Um, yeah, they're in there pulling bits out now. That's obviously the last substantial bit of this half of the house to go. So that's gonna be next up. That's gonna get pulled down. And the dig will then emerge on the front of the drive, at which point we're down to the last kind of wing, the last third of the house, I guess. So yeah, let's, let's get started. Right, literally about to pull that wing off. It's quite scary. As if. And there we have it. Pretty much end of day three. You can literally see like inside, just like a cross section of the whole house. Like it's mad how, how deep it is. Like I know the house is big, but you can't see it because it's so convoluted. When you cut it open like that, like it's friggin' long. Like I think it feels like it's like deeper than it is wide. But yeah, that's mad. Ian's still <laughs> on a mad one. He's like plucking bits of, but like, I think I said it before, the control he has over that digger is ridiculous. Like Ian, by the way, is the guy in control of that. That's less dirt down there. The absolute dream team. Ian is to digger control what I am to like eat to, eating pizza and being shredded. Like he's absolutely unreal. But yeah, that's that's the house. End of day three. Probably, I don't know, over halfway gone. We're getting there. We're getting there. Man, 
Hello. <laughs> End of day four. The pile of wood is getting like <laughs> pretty big. It's like above my head right now. Substantial amount of wood from the house. I've actually missed pretty much the whole day of demolition because I've been out filming another video. It's a ridiculous one. You'll, you'll know it, probably the next video, you'll know it when you see it because it's basically just me almost killing myself. But yeah, get excited for that. In terms of the house, so <laughs> I can walk inside what's left of it. This is the far right hand side of it. I mean, this is literally it. This is all that is left of my house. Uh, open that door. <laughs> I can't because there's gravel in the way. If I come out here, uh, you can see like pretty, I've made some serious inroads today. That's literally all that is left of the house. Come around here. So that is literally, I mean, that's the kitchen. It's hard to get my head around because like I'm used to this side of the house being, you know, the front room, whatever. Now this side of the house is, is, yeah, it's just throwing me off. That's, I mean, look at the size of that, mate. That's the floor from what was the front room, front bedroom type thing. It's f***ing massive, mate. But yeah, that's it. I was going to go upstairs to show you, but there's no stairs, so I can't know where there is. Scaffolding, I'm going to sneak up the scaffolding. Okay. So yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the state of the house now. So that is actually, that's our bedroom. That's gonna be the master bedroom. You can still see the picture of it. Tomorrow, that's all coming down. I think basically by the end of day five, the house will probably be gone. So that's it. That's day four. Catch up with you tomorrow. bit of context that little skip you just saw in chucking around like it was a freaking cardboard box I mean that's it it's it's quite big halfway through day four and I mean the house is very nearly gone so that's obviously bedroom up there you can see through to the back because the rest of the house no longer exists so like <laughs> done some serious damage today if you go here that is the end of the kitchen there and that's like the side passage you can see like right up if i come up a bit you can see right up into our bedroom here and like i mean we're nearly done it's been it's been quick but they've had to slow down on that side just because a there's a house the other side of it and b with the scaffolding up there they're not allowed to leave the scaffolding too high above the line of the house so basically they've got to take it down the scaffolders bring it down they go again it's kind of like an alternating like system but yeah we're very nearly done walk through here actually and then show you the crap so through here walking through the middle of the last remaining bit of my house and if we come over here <clears throat> that's it that's what remains so basically i'm having lunch now when they come back they'll do the rest of the roof they'll come through that and then that's it <laughs> he's saying like originally he thinks the house will be just literally down leveled gone today so yeah potentially one more segment and then my house is gone <laughs> Okay, we are down to the final like pitch. That is the last bit of our house. I think it's about to collapse. Like, oh my god, mate! How is that still standing? As defying gravity. <laughs> Pretty slam, mate. Oh my goodness! Okay, that was, that was quite dramatic.
Good morning, day six, aka the last day. What a glorious day it is. So yesterday, there was an outside chance of getting it all done, but when that massive bit of roof came down, it came down in such a big section that like, I think it's been a bit of a nightmare because I said they've got to separate all the wood and the various bits, and there was so much separation, so it's taken a while, but they are getting there. The plan today is to get that final bit of house down, then it will just be a case of like clearing, so getting that huge pile of wood and all these other bits kind of clear and flat, and then we're done. The house is gone, so this is it. The home stretch in is on a mad one. I'm extremely excited. See you on the other side. And that is that. The house is gone, mate. We used to have a house. We now don't have a house. We've technically lost a house. We've regressed, but yeah, the site is house free. Ian is currently just literally bending enormous bits of steel with the digger. It's it's mad. I feel like the digger is like the digger is like a digger version of me. Anyway, all that is left to do is just clear the site, get things tidied up, and that's it. Episode one, phase one of project build our dream house complete. Sick vantage point here, and like, look at that, mate. We're on the wall. We're on the wall. That's the camera that's captured that glorious. I hope it's glorious time. I haven't checked it, but says you good. Yeah. Ian, Yo, give Yo. us a wave, mate. <laughs> Absolutely smashed it. What a what a guy. What a guy. <laughs> Holy mother, f the house is gone. Like, it's just not here anymore. Cool, no biggie. Uh, the guy's gonna come back tomorrow and like wipe all that hardcore out, obviously flatten things out, take the skips away. But A, I wanna get this video up ASAP, and B, I think we can all agree that no one needs to see another digger time lapse for at least a few weeks. So we are done. Before I say anything else, I wanna say a massive thank you to Clean Slate Demolition. They've been absolutely unreal. Firstly, just in terms of being professional and doing a sick job, but B, and lot very importantly for me, they've been unbelievably accommodating, like Ian in the digger. I mean, I haven't got much digger driver experience but I can't imagine a better digger driver than that guy. They've just been like, obviously I'm so annoying in terms of walking around on walls, climbing a scaffold and trying to get videos and they've just been super helpful throughout the whole thing. So if you want any, any, demoli any demolition work being done or you know someone that does, definitely recommend them or couldn't recommend them any more highly. But yeah, that is it. That is episode one of this series done. I'm so excited for what's to come. Like if you haven't seen the other videos, you can go and get a, a taste of what the house is going to be like. Honestly, the house is going to be mad. We're, we're genuinely just building our dream house. Like I'm going balls out, doing everything everything we want to do just to make our ultimate house so it's going to be crazy i'm excited for you guys to come along on the series this will be a series going the whole way through the builds episode two will be coming in a few weeks pretty exciting plans for that one so stay tuned for that obviously make sure you subscribe enable notifications all the good stuff so you don't miss it oh, on that front obviously i'll be documenting it in this youtube series but we're also documenting it on instagram we've got an instagram account the more your home which is going to show all the behind the scenes stuff all the stuff that won't make it to these videos the outcuts whatever so if you like house stuff then obviously just go and check that instagram out but yeah that's it the video is over episode one is over i hope you've enjoyed it guys if you have enjoyed it give it a thumbs up on a side note i've got some absolute bangers the next i think three videos are massive videos just in a general youtube sense so be ready for those but obviously episode two will be coming in probably i don't know a few weeks to a month's time so be ready for that as well i will see you in the next video i've forgotten what i'm saying now because i'm out of my weird outro rhythm but yeah this is done i'm exhausted i've spent a week climbing ladders filming houses so i'm just gonna go home now yeah uh -huh.